Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Remember, before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button and dropping an early like. It does mean a lot to me and your like actually goes further than you do know. It actually goes so far and I appreciate it so much. Also, thank you guys for the recent support on the channel. It's been amazing. Still trying to smash 1,300 subscribers. We're getting so close now. I can't thank you guys enough for that. But as you can see on the screen, as there's some kid binning around in circles doing God knows what. What is that guy even doing? He's just sliding along the floor. So crazy. This game is so strange. We're playing some World War 2, we're one day away from Season 4 in Modern Warfare, so why not end this season not even playing Modern Warfare? We're playing World War 2, if you didn't know, it is free for now, this month, on PlayStation Plus. I presume if you're on PlayStation, you're a PlayStation Plus member. So why not pick this game up, and why is that kid sliding around? I have no idea, it's so strange, there's loads of people sliding around, what is going off right now? But yeah, I know this game has had a lot of stick in the past. I'm going to try it out today. I've played a couple of games, literally two games on the shipment map. I think it is shipment 19 something. I have no idea. I've never played this game on general release like that. The year it was out when it was the game. Uh, I never actually played it. Uh, so this is literally my first time really playing it to be honest. So we're going to see what it's like. We're going to hop straight into a game. It's just so crazy and there's a kid opening a supply drop to me. This headquarters thing seems pretty cool. I wish this was actually in other games. But yeah, it is what it is. It's free in the store. Make sure you download it. But without further ado, guys, we're going to hop straight into a game right now. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Okay, guys, we're playing a bit of shipment. This game is super weird, to be honest. The creator class system, it took me ages to figure it out with all the divisions, things. I didn't even know what was going off. I'm pretty sure the PPSH is the best gun in this game, so I managed to unlock it just a couple of games ago. So, we're rolling with it. Going from Modern Warfare to this game, it's super strange. The movement, I thought the movement in Modern Warfare was slow compared to Black Ops 4, but this is on a whole nother level. I don't think I even have any attachments on this thing, and it's like you have a constant, I don't even know what. When you're playing this game and there's somebody near you on the minimap, I get like a little red like triangle, I don't even know kind of strange and there's a radar jammer like scrambler or something of modern warfare 2 this game is crazy i don't know why it got as much stick as it did get there's a lot of um, new plays on this game as well seeing as it is a free game right now so it kind of benefits me right now so i'm not playing against a load of pro players who never stop playing this game because they're absolutely crazy i don't know why people do that to be fair i mean i mean i don't know maybe people just aren't bothered they just like this game and continue playing it but I tend to struggle going back and playing older CODs. Not so much this game, just for the simple fact I've never played it. But say if I was to go back and play, I don't know, Black Ops 4 for instance, I just wouldn't enjoy it like I would originally. I don't know why that's a thing, oh my god. Why I'm like that, but I just am, I don't know. It's kind of strange. I don't know if anyone else feels the same. I don't know if it's because I just don't get that same feeling. Sometimes I feel like I'm wasting my time as well when I could be playing the game that's, you know, on it right now. I don't know, it's a strange, definitely a strange feeling. I'm definitely not the best at this game either. Probably because I've not played it that much and I'm not used to all the movement and everything. I played a game of regular TDM before. Cause I, I, when I first played this game, I couldn't actually go in straight into a game of shipment. I had to wait a couple of games until I ranked up. But yeah, it is double XP and all that, so kind of helped. And if you guys are looking to play this game, it's actually not that bad. Like I said, it's, I, I think it got a lot of stick at the start because it was super, super awful. But this game, it doesn't seem... Oh my god. It doesn't seem too bad. What on earth just happened there? Where did I even die from? Getting a little afterlife kill. Doesn't seem as bad, but... I, on Twitter, I found out that they did get a lot of updates to make this game a little bit better. Apparently, the start of this game, it was dreadful. And I can believe it, to be fair. I did hear a lot about that. And I think that's one of the reasons I never picked this game up. I played Black Ops 3 for another year when this one was out. I think that was a cut before this. I don't know. I was playing Black Ops 3 either way, anyway. Because um, of what I heard from friends. Because I was that guy. I can't remember how old I was when this came out. But I, didn't, I, I wasn't working. I didn't have my own job. I wasn't old enough. I was still in school. And I was the kid who always would wait, had to have to wait till Christmas to get the new game. I think the only ever game before I could buy it myself, before I would start working, was Modern Warfare 3. That's the only game I ever got on release. And all the other games I was having to wait till Christmas, you know, because they, they used to release in November. Do they still release in November? I don't even know. I think they do. But yeah, because it was in November, a month before Christmas, my mum was like, no, you can have it for Christmas. It was one of them scenarios, which I weren't too fussed. You know, I'd just play the, the game the year before for an extra month or so. No biggie. 
And when I got out on Christmas, obviously all my friends knew what was going off and I didn't. I was a Christmas noob for a very long time, a very early stage of my life for years. But yeah, I mean, if you're one of them people who get it for Christmas, I don't think it's something to be ashamed about or anything. I doubt you would be ashamed anyway, but you know what I mean. It doesn't really matter. It's only a month you have to wait, and it is what it is. kind of made the game more enjoyable. When I, well, I say more enjoyable. It probably wasn't deeply as enjoyable, but obviously when before I got the game, I remember when Ghosts came out, I didn't get it. I was Obviously, I waited till the PS4 was out to get that game. I remember watching the live streams on the Race to Prestiges before and all that. They used to do them every year, they don't do them anymore, which is a shame. They used to be so, so much fun. I forget who it was, I think Doom Clan did one. I think it was Doom Clan on, on that game. Might be mistaken. And I used to love watching them rank for, for the Prestiges, like it was constantly on, they used to have shifts on the account. It was insane, I wish they really did them live streams again. It was super fun to watch. As soon as from the game dropped all the way to Master Prestige. But I think actually they did it a couple of times where it was just for a period of time and see what prestige you could get to. Wow, we didn't do too bad that game. 28 kills, 13 deaths, not bad. We're only level 10 though. I'm going to play another game for you guys though because I'm actually really enjoying this game. I find it super fun. Also, can somebody please tell me why I can't use my first creator class? I don't know why it won't let me use it. It's locked constantly. I have no idea why. Got a few attachments for the PPSH now. Feeling nice for that quick draw. I miss quick draws as an attachment, man. That was it's such a great attachment. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this game. I, d I don't know why. I have no idea, and I thought I wasn't going to be able to get a kill there. And I miss when lobbies wouldn't change after every single game. That kid's just got slapped. Also, I hope you don't mind if this is going to be a longer video. Just, I'm just feeling this game right now. It might be because I've never played it before, and it's, I don't know, it's sort of nice. I quite like this game. Surprisingly, I didn't think I was after everything I heard. I d probably I feel like if this was the main game, I probably don't think I would have liked it. I don't know. I, but I, I don't know. I would have played it. The only, the only game I never played was this one, and I never really played Infinite Warfare. Just for the simple fact they had the original Modern Warfare remastered. So for me, it was a no-brainer. I much preferred to play Modern Warfare remastered. They added a load of new things in, in Modern Warfare remastered. Oh my, I ran out of bullets. Um, but yeah, I never played Infinite Warfare. Did you guys feel the same? Did you just play Modern Warfare Remastered or did you guys play Infinite Warfare? I'd love to know. Oh my god, this pistol's pretty sick. Oh my god, look at this pistol. I've got a glide bomb on. I don't know what any of the streaks do, bearing in mind. So you have to bear with me on that one. We've got a recon plane. In fact, I've called in. I think this is like a Predator missile, but you can't speed it up, which is annoying. Nice little kill. I've got a UAV. Recon aircraft. They always call them recons in these kind of type of games, so I wonder if we'll get that in the next game. I suppose playing this game is kind of fit into um, what do you call it, the new game, which is going to be called War Theme. So I presume it might be similar to this game. Hopefully, it's better than this game though, because I feel like that would be great. Maybe similar, but better. It's try out, bearing in mind, so I have a good feeling it is going to be better. I think this is the last game Sledgehammer Games made. I for Call of Duty wise, I think they did get axed. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Maybe because this game didn't do too well. I don't believe. Possibly, I could see that being a thing from a business point of view. You know, if you own a business and you're asking someone to make your game. You're going to want it to do well, and if they're not doing well, then can they shoot through these crates? I have no idea. I wouldn't be surprised. It looks like it would. Oh my days. But yeah, I mean, if you're not doing too well, then. Obviously, you're going to get rid of them. We're doing pretty well going into the second half of this domination game. 26 and 8. Not bad to say I've never really played this game. I'm starting to regret never picking this game up, to be fair. I don't know. I really don't know why I didn't, but I wish I did. I am actually super enjoying it. It's a good job, actually, to switch sides as well, because I'm on a bit of a streak right now, and I run out of bullets. And I die straight off the bat. That is just typical, man. I just die straight away. I've died again. I was on a nice streak as well. And that is that end of that game. Wow, we did pretty decent. 58 kills, 34 deaths. I mean, I died a bunch of times in the second round there, which is unfortunate though. But yeah, I actually really enjoy this game. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby or whatever you call it. I don't even know if this is the lobby. But yeah, I really enjoyed playing some World War II with you guys today. I was very new to this game, obviously, but I really enjoyed it. But let me know if you want to see more throwback cards. I can do a couple if you want. Not sure if it's what you want to see, especially with Season 4 around the corner. But make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. Season 4 is tomorrow. If you're UK time, it's releasing at 7am tomorrow or 11 time PT. I'm not sure what that stands for. I know it's an American time, so sorry. But yeah, make sure you're up 7 o'clock in the morning early. Start this download going for Season 4. 
But if you're not, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all Season 4 news all throughout the season and for the rest of Modern Warfare, obviously. Some great gameplays, great class setups and news, obviously. I will cover it all, so make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash a like. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you do have bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on a single video I do upload. Making sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, links for them are in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.